Hi, did you catch a cold? Yeah, I had one last week. Well, tis the season. So I thought that this week I might make my video on how to treat a cold the Paul Mathers way. And I should probably start by stating that I am talking about a head cold here. Those of you who got the flu, the billion of you out there who caught the flu this season, I'm not talking to you. I'm talking about you who have a rhinovirus, the stuffy nose, scratchy throat, will be gone in about a weekish sort of day. I've devised a way where I can usually get over it in about three days. For those of you who have the flu, go see a doctor, get some antivirals, and this fall get your flu shot. Let's go. The first thing that you hear so often said when you catch a cold is to drink plenty of fluids or drink plenty of water. I always used to take this as, oh, I'll have an extra glass of water or two. No, that's not what you want. What you want is tons of water, plenty of water, as in you're going to go to the bathroom every five minutes. I take one of these with me to work, and usually on a normal day, on a normal week, I will drink maybe one of these in an eight-hour working day. When I have a cold, I drink at least three of these. The other thing that you want to do that I know is an effective way is plenty of ibuprofen and Tylenol. We don't have any Tylenol in the house for me to show you because I've taken it all during the cold, but you want to alternate them. And the good thing about alternating them is that you can take Tylenol and two hours later you can take some ibuprofen and offset them like that because they're two different painkillers. You don't want to go outside of the perimeters on these, but to keep the inflammation down is going to help you to heal quicker. These are things that I know that the Mayo Clinic will not back me up on, but I believe in them wholeheartedly, and we must not forget our good friend in the process of healing. These are Coldy's lozenges. They are a zinc tablet, and you put them in your mouth, and you uh, suck on them, and you do that for about every two hours when you have a cold. And I contend that it will reduce the severity and length of your cold, as they claim is clinically tested. I don't know whether it actually does or not, or whether it's that I just believe them. But something I know actually does help out is the Fisherman's Friend tablets. Now, these are a palliative. They aren't actually going to cure anything. But to get 10 minutes of respite when you are stuffy for many days in a row is such a welcome relief. You take, I usually take about three of these at a time, and they will clear out your sinuses and make your throat feel better. They're like the Altoids of cough lozenges, and they have a devotional aspect because as you take them, you can think of he who was the friend to fishermen. This is a neti pot, and you can buy these in any drugstore. It's a little plastic pot, looks like Aladdin's lamp. You uh, fill it up with boiled or uh, distilled water. You don't want to use just plain tap water on this because there are parasites in the certain parts of the world. But after you've boiled your water, these will come with some little packets of salt and I think some baking powder in there. You can use all of those, but you don't have to buy the refills. You can just put salt in on your own when you run out of them. And you stick them in one nostril, lean it to the side, and the water comes out the other nostril. It flushes out all of the gunk. Although the neti pot do have what I call the neti pot paradox which is I have found that when you need them most, they don't work because you are so congested in one side that you'll put it up your nose and it'll just stay up there. These are really good for when you are on the mend a little bit and those mornings where you just have all of this goo, it cleans it out and may help prevent you from getting a secondary infection. This is one that I actually learned from history. I learned this from John and Annie Bidwell. You do want to get extra sleep, as they tell you to. I usually just go to bed an hour or so earlier, but that extra rest will help you to heal. However, if you lay completely flat, all of this goo is going to go down your throat and into your lungs and possibly settle there and turn into bronchitis or pneumonia. So what you do is you set up your pillows in such a way that you're pretty much laying sitting up. And it may sound uncomfortable, but you're going to be so wiped out that you can sleep through anything. One more thing that I'm not sure science will bear me up on, but I truly believe it's a panacea, which is red wine. That helps me to sleep. Essentially, it's the same thing as NyQuil. It's alcohol. 
but you want to make sure that, especially while you're taking these pills, and it's only going to be for a few days, so it's not going to harm you anyway, but as long as you stay within the parameters, and on the pill bottle it says not to exceed three alcoholic beverages while you are taking this pill. So you really only want to have one glass of wine and limit yourself to that while you are sick. So there you go, my techniques for treating a cold. And again, in my experience, you do these things and in about three days, you will be over your cold for all intents and purposes and can get on with your life, which is a very nice thing as colds used to last for about a week or so and turn into bronchitis for me with my asthma. So I wish you good health. I wish you get well soon. And as a side note, maybe think about washing your hands a lot and not hanging around a whole lot of people while you are getting over this contagious disease. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next week. Ta-ta.